Good morning. Welcome to this week's episode of Family Saturdays at Home. My name is Maureen, and I am thrilled to be filling in for Kate this morning. In a moment, you will meet my friend Leo, and he is about to teach us how to make our very own sock puppet friends using, you guessed it, socks. He will list off supplies that you may want to gather, or you could collect anything from inside your home, with permission, that you want to cut up and glue together to make your very own sock puppets. I hope you share with me photos and videos of what you make at home. There is an email address included at the end of the episode. Feel free to hit pause whenever you need to to catch up to where Leo is at, and I hope that you have so much fun. I love you. Hi, my name is Leo, and today we will be taking a sock from your big sock pile, if you have one, and turn it into... A sock puppet. So what you need is scissors, a sock, a piece of fabric or paper for your tongue, some eyes, you can make your own or print them out from your computer, craft foam, some fuzz balls, googly eyes and water so you don't burn yourself a uh, mr sketch and a pencil crayon a glue gun and a glue stick and so is this something that maybe your parents your you might want to get some help from an older person so they can burn themselves and you can just choose the fun part Maybe some adult help with the glue gun part. So how did you choose this sock? Um, well, you have to have a sock that's not super colorful and um, crazy like this. Because what does that look like if you turn it into a sock pup? But how can you test it to see what it looks like before well, you start? Well, it might look like it's a wearing a giant sweater that's covering its face. So if you try that one, what does that one kind of look like? It will... Can you show us how that might look on your hand? Okay, yeah, I can. So that we can, we can show, you can sort of get a, a general idea. I'd have to push it in a little bit more. And if you put the, if you put the heel of the sock on your thumb, see what the, I oh, think if you turn yeah. it around, that's what we've been doing is if you use the heel as your thumb mark, that gives you kind of a good sense of it. So that one might be a hilarious Christmas puppet, but it's a little bit busy. And you can also cut it and turn it into a sweater. Oh. That would be a great sweater. Okay, so show us the sweater look on, on the guy that's, that's here. So this is our sweater that we made first out of a super long sock. So you just cut the top part off and slid it on? Yeah, nice. and use the top of the sock Mm -hmm. on the top of the puppet because it makes a good sweater line. Okay, so that's a lot, that's an accessory to finish it off. And you need a piece of cardstock or thin cardboard. Okay, and so you've cut that into what's that shape when you open it up? Um, it's kind of an oval? Some sort of oval. Okay, can you lay that out for us on the ground here? And what size is that compared to your sock? Sort of bigger. Slightly bigger because the sock, that's a really stretchy sock. Okay. So now that you've chosen all of your ingredients and you've cut out some eyes, I see. We can get started. All right. So what's the first step that we need to do with the sock? We need to turn it right side out. Inside out? Inside out, whatever. Um, put this on. You might need some um, parenting help with this part. Okay. 
with the glue gun. All right, so let's lay this out so that the, the heel of the sock is facing up. Can you do that so that the heel is facing right up there? Sort of stretch it out. There we go, like that, because that's where we want this piece yeah. to lay. And we want to lay it out first before we put the glue gun glue on to the thing. Otherwise, sometimes it's a bit tricky. And we're just going to stretch it a little bit because this is a super stretchy sock. And you also might have to trim it if your piece is a little bit too big. You won't see this piece, so you can make this piece whatever with whatever you've got. That looks pretty good. Okay. Now, right. we are going to take the glue gun. Mm -hmm. And if it looks like this, you might need to use the glue stick and push it around. Our trigger on our glue gun is a bit not so awesome. So you're just going all the way around oh, there. It hurts. All right. So if it's hot, that's what your bowl of water here is for, right? Yeah. Okay. Now, you might have to do this really fast, but do it very carefully. There we go. I'm just going to pull this a little bit for you. Whew. And you can use the back of your scissors to push it down. Or a felt pen. There we go. That way it saves your fingers because glue gun glue can be super duper hot. Okay. Feels nice. Um, and then you have to fold it mm -hmm. so then you know that it works. Mm -hmm. Flip it right side in. And this is probably the trickiest part of the whole process. Hmm. Okay. I don't think I did it right. Nope, you did. Here, if you can just hold it for a second. So, do you hold the camera for a second right here? Whoop, oh, turn around. There you go. So, this part's the tricky part. So, what you need to do is you. Leo folded it right side in, and then you actually need to reach in, and this is the part you might need a mom for, or a dad, or an older sibling. And you pull it up so it's straight again, and then when you put your hand inside, you'll feel the cardboard in the inside of your hand. And you can fold it. you can it. just fold it over. And that gives you a nice, flat, firm mouth, so that if you wanna give teeth or a tongue or any of those things, you have a nice part there that sort of stays. So that's our, and you can use your thumbs to give them some expression, or your knuckles to give them some expression. All right, so now that we've done that part, we can take that off. And? And we'll swap back around. And Leo will show you how to make the, all the awesome eyes. So you need two good sized fuzz balls. You need to flatten them a bit. And then you put one dot of hot glue on your fuzz ball. And do this very, very slowly and carefully. Push your eye on to the thing. I like putting it on the floor and pushing it down because it you don't have to use your hands and it works really well. So that's my technique. Then you do it one more time. If you do have a fake wig or um, fake hair, you may um, use that as a um, as the hair for your um, sock puppet, but if you don't, you can just use some normal yarn, and there are your eyes. So what kind of expressions can you do with these eyes? So you can make a mad face, mm -hmm. a sad face, mm -hmm. and 
a bored and tired face. <laughs> so what kind of eyes are you going to give this sock puppet? We're going to use the bored and tired face. Okay. And last time we used a pipe cleaner as its glasses. Mm -hmm. Which I don't know how to do, but my mom did it last time. So you I can... don't have a pipe cleaner right now. But, but you can make all kinds of accessories for, for your puppet. Yes. So then you have to hold it by the very top. Well, you have to find out where you're going to put the eyes. And you use those little, if you use the little, the little puff balls, it keeps the eyes from laying super flat, right? Yes, that's why I grabbed the, um, the balls. And now we're coming back to putting these glue gun, this, um, these eyes on. Put it right there, I'm thinking. Right there, and... You might have to put a weight on the front because it does boing, which is sometimes a very annoying problem. Yeah, there we go. It looks a lot like Kermit. It does look a little bit like Kermit. There we go. Awesome. So now what other accessories are, do you think you might put on this one? We're going to use our crazy fake wig. Hot glue strings. So how are we going to attach this? Well, maybe we should put it onto a hand. Or onto the jar here so we can get some... We don't get burnt. We're just using a glass. For my Kia. Because they are great. <laughs> Product placement. Okay. Ugh. There we go. Because if you put it on your own hand, then sometimes it just gets too hot. too hot. Okay, so that gives us a pretty good base. So then we can just put that right there mm -hmm. over top of his eyes and do that. That looks pretty hilarious. All right, so I think if you just put some glue right along there. And on top of his eyes. Yep, then that would probably work. It's always a little bit of trial and error, right? You have to just try things out. Let's see how it works. Artistic decisions. A very key mm -hmm. in this country. Okay, there we go. Let's flatten that out as much as you can. Awesome. There. Hooray. <laughs> That's looking great. Then, right. if you want, you can take a pink or red piece of fabric, round at the top, and put some glob of glue on the top of it. Mm -hmm. And Here's a floppy tongue. What kind of tongues do your other guys have? So the other guys have paper um, tongues mm -hmm. and markered with red. Okay, so you just drew, you just drew a, a shape. <laughs> How do you like that? That's pretty awesome. Hey, <laughs> Zyber! <laughs> Perfect. So did you want to try it on your hand and see now that it's cooled off a little bit? A little bit. Yeah, sure. Let's do it. And you can name your sock puppet whatever you want, which is one of the funnest parts. Oh, what's up? Oh, <laughs> oh, 
That's awesome. So they all kind of have personalities. Well, maybe we'll pull out some other sock puppets that we've made before and show you some samples of different kinds of hair. Um, you, you, so you used a, a crazy wiggy thing that we had kicking around for this one. For these other guys, what we you... used fake hair mm -hmm. as his be uh, as their beards and mustache. Mm -hmm. And um, this guy, we used um, the same thing for his beard, mm -hmm. but for his mustache, we used the foam, mm -hmm. the craft foam, and used a Mr. Sketch to make it more black. It wore off. So you have to you have to experiment, right, with all yeah. the different things that you could use. Now, right now, we're going to make a sweater. A Christmas sweater? Maybe. I don't, I'm just going to use this one. That one? Okay. It, we used it last time. It's a great one. So, one of the things we have to make sure that you do is run all the craft materials by your whoever is in charge of them in your house so that you don't cut up your sister's very favorite pair of socks, right? Yes, if you have a sister. Yes, and if she wears socks. Yes, which does happen. And if you want, you can roll it if this is not the top of your sock. Oh, okay. And it will make a good neck. Perfect. Then you have to do this with your hand. Mm -hmm. Hold it like that. Put your tongue in. <laughs> then move it around in the spot that you like. He looks fantastic. Um, he's not feeling right. Hmm. Huh. Well, well, we have to play with him. He's a good looking puppet. Awesome. I great. <laughs> and if you want, you can do this. And where is want you can do this oh look at those the awesome teeth, teeth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the those are awesome look at those crazy teeth perfect lots of personality hey perfect all right well we'll maybe we'll we'll pause for a minute one minute and go grab some other samples to show you some other cool accessories so these are all of our sock puppets including my hand and this goat. So this animal is made out of a wooly wooly sock with two googly eyes, um, a feather, another feather, and it is a horse. Oh, awesome. This is made out of cardboard and some string to make the saddle. Mm -hmm. And I, well, Awesome. So look, what kind of accessories do these guys have? So this guy has a, mus um, a mustache and a bow tie mm -hmm. and ears and curtain eyes, I guess it would be called. Yeah, little rings from off of a bottle. Then this guy has a paper hat. Mm -hmm. He has weird hair made out of um, furry pipe cleaner mm -hmm. 
then we just made this dude. Mm -hmm. You remember how he was made? Mm -hmm. And this is our gnome. Nice, and that's just a craft foam hat? Yes. Okay. His name is Shmevulok. Shmevulok, yes, right. Okay. This name is Kevin. His name is Kevin. Mm -hmm. He has a strange eyebrows, and he is usually the bad guy. Oh, he has a villainous the... mustache. I see that. Yes, I do. Okay. And this is my sister's one. It's a unicorn. Oh. I'm pretty sure. It's got awesome str string hair, and this one has string hair too. <laughs> nice. So some foam lips in there. So these, the ones that we made today, we pulled the sock the whole way around. But if you just leave the piece in like we originally had it, when you had it in, then you can have this kind of mouth too. Can you show us with Shmebulok what that looks like on? Shmebulok. Oh, and here's one more that's being, that just came in. That's got some awesome decoration. Shmevulok. And he's been shaving. Oh, <laughs> he's stubbly. Perfect. So as you can see, these are something we really enjoy making. They're a little bit addictive. So make sure that you have lots of oh, supplies. Oh, final one. Oh, and here's our final dude. That we made a while ago. We made that one last night. So those guys have the same glasses and those are just made out of pipe cleaners. So we hope that you enjoy our our uh, make-along presentation here. We'd love to see what kind of um, puppets and puppet shows that you come up with, with your own bag of socks and other bits from around the house. Oh, you're still going? Yes. Oh. As you can see, sock puppet making is an exhausting business. Thank you, Leo. Happy making, everyone. Billy the third, and I am a puppet. You all might think that I am just an ordinary sock, but I'm not. I have glasses. Me too. But I hate them face. I don't care. Now. We're going to be talking about our creator, Logana!